friends, it's me Kelsey and I just wanted to say hello, what's up? And I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the funny parts about being prego. My whole first trimester totally sucked. <laughs> like, I know a lot of people talk about like the magic and wonder that is pregnancy and how fantastic it is all the time and they're all full of poo-poo because <laughs> that is so not true. I was sick. A lot and like morning sickness I had what I call night sickness slash all the time sickness because my sickness knew no bounds mostly I would get sick at night um, but it just decided whenever and for a while I like couldn't drink any milk products or anything for no reason I developed like a lactose intolerance so couldn't have any milk anything like no dairy um, I finally can have dairy now, which is pretty exciting, but so no ice cream, no milk. You would be amazed at how many things have dairy in it. I'd have to like look at the packaging and so much has dairy. I feel great respect for those people that are actually lactose intolerant for life because holy crap, your life is hard. <laughs> Sorry. During my second trimester, I only got sick sometimes. It's supposed to just completely end when you are done with your first trimester, but for me, I got the magical card that I even got sick like last night too, which I'm in my third trimester now and I shouldn't get sick anymore, but lo and behold, I got sick last night. But you know, sadly, I'm sort of used to it now and I know it's only temporary, so it's, it's okay. Fun stories, I'm supposed to be telling fun stories. The cool thing is feeling you move I'm having a boy, by the way, I don't know if I said that to anybody, <laughs> but when he moves around, it's the weirdest freaking thing I've ever seen in my life because my whole stomach's like And it sometimes freaks me out because it looks like an alien is inside of me, which is kind of like what he is, is like a little alien growth sucking my food from me and growing bigger until I birth him out. <laughs> I'm probably the wrong person if you're looking for really sweet, sappy pregnancy stories because I love the idea that I'm having a baby and I love the idea of pregnancy and it, it amazes me. Like, it blows my mind that I'm creating a person inside of me, but <clears throat> you guys like my sexy voice. This is my sexy, sort of sick voice. I woke up yesterday and started losing my voice and I don't understand why because the rest of me feels fine but I just woke up and there was no, no voice. I uh, forgot what I was talking about, I hate when I do this. Fun fact that I learned that most people don't realize is that um, you're not supposed to eat for two when you're pregnant. That like whole phrase of like, oh I'm eating for two, I can eat whatever I want, shovel food, not true. You're actually only supposed to eat like one extra small meal a day. Uh, so you're just supposed to eat kind of normal it's just weird. My cravings haven't been strange yet. I crave things like cinnamon and then peanut butter for a while was something I craved. I also craved apricots like I was gonna die. Apricots and nectarines <laughs> were something that I like needed to eat and they were out of season and they were so expensive but I, I had to have them and I ate them. Uh, avocados was something else that I craved for a while. Generally I've craved really healthy things so that's been kind of good, knock on wood. <laughs> now it's starting ice cream and donuts, which is never ever a good thing. Started to really look pregnant, which is really cool. Like when I'm at work at Starbucks, I wear an apron. And so you couldn't really tell it looked like I was just getting kind of chubby. <laughs> and um, finally some of our regulars are like, whoa, you got pregnant. <laughs> and I was like, well, actually I've been pregnant for about six months, just generally speaking, but yes, I do look pregnant now, but <laughs> it's pretty exciting to actually feel like I'm pregnant. So let me know if you guys have any questions about it. Obviously, like I'm about six months pregnant now. I'm, well, I'll be 28, 27 weeks today, 27 weeks. So that's pretty awesome. And I, I like, this <laughs> vlogging business so I'm gonna keep trying to do it because it's obviously not that hard it's when I try to get all creative and do funny things that I get perfectionisty and I don't make videos which is stupid because that's not what this is about but that's how my brain works 
So it's just the way that it is. But let me know if you have any questions about pregnancy or babies. I don't really know that much about babies yet, but I don't know why I'm saying babies. I do know quite a bit about my own pregnancy. So <laughs> if you had questions or comments, let me know. And I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.